Welcome to Control Engineering Lecture Series. I, Professor Itesh Dolakia, is going to explain you graphical calculation of face margin and gain margin in polar plot in this video. So here, I'll explain you how to identify face margin, gain margin, as well as gain crossover frequency and face crossover frequency in polar plot graphically. So let us have polar plot over here. So on Y axis in polar plot, we have imaginary axis and on X axis, we have real axis. Imaginary is J omega and real is sigma. Now here in this polar plot, there are few basic things that one should know. This is origin and one point is over here and that point coordinates are minus one comma zero. And this point is critical point that one should know. See this point is critical point. Now you see minus one comma zero means what? Real component that is minus one and imaginary component that is zero. And this point is critical point in polar plot. Now here there are few more interesting point that one should know. See phase is there with respect to real axis. So here angle will be 0 for phase. Here angle will be plus 90 in anti-clockwise direction angle will be positive. So here it will be 180 here it will be 270 and if you measure angle in clockwise direction it will be negative. So here angle is minus 90 degree. Here angle is minus 180 degree and here angle is minus 270 degree. So that is how phase is there and magnitude is there with respect to distance of center. Right. So whatever distance that is there with respect to center that is a magnitude and graphically how to calculate phase margin and gain margin and phase crossover frequency and gain crossover frequency. That is what the case which I'll be going to explain you in this video, right? So let us have one polar plot example. So it will be giving you a bit more clear idea. So I'm just drawing one polar plot. Let us say we have one polar plot like this, right? This is our polar plot. Now how to identify phase margin gain margin and phase crossover frequency and gain crossover frequency. So here we need to see real axis at minus 180 degree angle, right? So you see this is our real axis towards minus 180 degree angle, right? So this real axis at minus 180 degree angle is intersecting this polar plot over here. So this is very essential point and one should know the basic definition of phase crossover frequency. See phase crossover frequency is a frequency at which phase is crossing minus 180 degree angle. So here in this polar plot phase is crossing minus 180 degree angle over here. So we can say this point is there with phase crossover frequency. Right. Now, once you have this phase crossover frequency, this distance with respect to center that we need to identify that is a magnitude. So let us say this distance is X. So magnitude is X, right? And see for stability of the system, this critical point is very essential. If this graph is crossing like this, then system would be unstable. If graph is crossing like this, system would have been unstable. And if this graph is crossing minus one point, in that case system will be critically stable, right? So distance with respect to this minus one point, that is a gain margin, right? So whenever phase crossover frequency is happening, that point will define gain margin. So this distance that is gain margin, right? But how to identify that? So see this distance is gain margin, right? And we calculate gain margin 
as per this x and that is 20 log of 1 by x. Now you might be having a question like why do we do 20 log of 1 by x for gain margin. So you see as if this graph is crossing from this minus 1 comma 0 point which is critical point in that case system would be critically stable. And now you see this graph is happening like this. So this is the margin which is what gain margin and how that is happening. So let us have one example. So if I say this point that is happening at gain 1 by 2 right this x is 1 by 2. So now if this x is 1 by 2 then how much margin that is available if you multiply 2 that much margin is available right. So all we do is we just take 1 by x as a margin and if you want that in terms of dB then 20 log of 1 by x that is gain margin. So if you multiply this much amount then we can have system critically stable right. So that is how gain margin that has been identified. Now very interesting point that we are delivered to see and that is gain crossover frequency. Now you see how to identify gain crossover frequency. So to identify gain crossover frequency we just need to have a unit circle which is passing through this critically critical point right. So we are dealing with to have unit circle with respect to center obviously that has to get passed through this critical point. So with respect to center we will be having a unit circle. So you see I am just making unit circle with respect to center right and this is our polar plot you see. Now see this unit circle that is intersecting this polar plot at this point right. So this point is gain crossover frequency where gain is crossing unity right. Here this polar plot is intersecting to unit circle that point is gain crossover frequency you see this is gain crossover frequency right and if you want to calculate phase margin then all you need to do is you just need to trace a trajectory with respect to center and this angle that will be phase margin this angle means angle in anti-clockwise direction with respect to minus 180 at the point of gain crossover frequency is phase margin right. So that is how we identify phase crossover frequency, gain crossover frequency, gain margin and phase margin. Let me give you one more example so that may resolve your understanding furthermore. So here in second polar plot we have imaginary axis that is j omega and we have real axis that is sigma and as I have told you angle that will be angle that will be 0 degree over here that will be 90 degree over here that will be 180 degree over here and that will be 270 degree over here in anti-clockwise direction. In clockwise direction here it will be minus 90 degree, here it will be minus 180 degree, here it will be minus 270 degree angle right and this is our origin and distance with respect to origin is magnitude that one should know right. Now when we plot polar plot there are few very important points that we should note down. One is critical point. So see if I say this point is minus 1 comma 0 then this is critical point. 
so this point is critical point why it is minus 1 comma 0 you see on the real axis it is having minus 1 magnitude and as it is there on the real axis imaginary component is 0 so this is minus 1 comma 0 and that is critical point now let me draw one polar plot over here so if you see I am just plotting one polar plot like this if one polar plot is happening like this right then here we are a little bit to identify phase crossover frequency gain crossover frequency phase margin and gain margin right so here if you see this graph is not crossing minus 180 degree you see this graph is not crossing minus 180 degree as this graph is not crossing minus 180 degree we can say phase crossover frequency is not existing means it is you can say it is not available so we can say here gain margin is infinite right as this graph is not crossing minus 180 degree real axis right so gain margin is infinite as if there is no phase crossover frequency now how to identify gain crossover frequency so as i have told you we need to have a unit circle so you see with respect to center we have a unit circle so let me have that unit circle over here now with this unit circle if you observe this point which is intersecting to polar plot then this point identifies gain crossover frequency and you just need to trace a line with respect to center and angle from minus 180 degree axis in anti-clockwise direction will be phase margin right so this is our phase margin so that is angle from minus 180 degree in anti-clockwise direction to the point of omega gc that is our phase margin see this is how we can identify phase margin gain margin and phase crossover frequency and gain crossover frequency graphically i hope that you have understood this and in future even you will be finding i have made few videos related stability of polar plot so that will be helping you to understand why should we use polar plot and how to utilize polar plot in control engineering thank you so much for watching this video